Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the hidden gems of numismatics, specifically focusing on the 1978 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. What secrets does it hold? Let's find out. The 1978 Washington Quarter Dollar is more than just a piece of currency. It's a symbol of American history and numismatic rarity. Produced by the United States Mint, this coin features the iconic profile of the first president of the United States, George Washington, on the obverse side. But what makes this particular year so special? It's all about the mintage and condition. In 1978, the United States Mint struck millions of these quarters for circulation. However, due to various factors such as wear and tear, many of them have disappeared from circulation, making pristine specimens increasingly rare. If you're lucky enough to find a 1978 Washington Quarter in uncirculated or near-mint condition, you could be sitting on a valuable treasure. So, how much is a 1978 Washington Quarter worth? Well, it depends on several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Finley this coin value is $22,000 coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with mint state being the highest grade for uncirculated coins. For example, a 1978 Washington Quarter in mint state condition, especially if it's a rare variety or era coin, could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Collectors also pay close attention to any unique characteristics or errors that may be present on the coin, such as doubling, die cracks, or off-center strikes. These anomalies can significantly increase the value of the coin, turning an ordinary quarter into a prized possession for numismatists. But even if your 1978 Washington Quarter doesn't exhibit any rare varieties or errors, don't despair. These coins still hold value as part of a historical collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, the 1978 Washington Quarter is a piece worth adding to your collection. So, the next time you come across a 1978 Washington Quarter, take a closer look. You might be holding more than just one million of dollars. You could be holding a piece of history worth a lot of money. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic adventure. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the hidden gems of numismatics, specifically focusing on the 1978 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. What secrets does it hold? Let's find out. The 1978 Washington Quarter Dollar is more than just a piece of currency. It's a symbol of American history and numismatic rarity. Produced by the United States Mint, this coin features the iconic profile of the first president of the United States, George Washington, on the obverse side. But what makes this particular year so special? It's all about the mintage and condition. In 1978, the United States Mint struck millions of these quarters for circulation. However, due to various factors such as wear and tear, many of them have disappeared from circulation, making pristine specimens increasingly rare. If you're lucky enough to find a 1978 Washington Quarter in uncirculated or near-mint condition, you could be sitting on a valuable treasure. So, how much is a 1978 Washington Quarter worth? Well, it depends on several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Finley this coin value is $22,000 coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with mint state being the highest grade for uncirculated coins. For example, A 1978 Washington Quarter in mint state condition, especially if it's a rare variety or era coin, could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Collectors also pay close attention to any unique characteristics or errors that may be present on the coin, such as doubling, die cracks, or off-center strikes. These anomalies can significantly increase the value of the coin, turning an ordinary quarter into a prized possession for numismatists. But even if your 1978 Washington Quarter doesn't exhibit any rare varieties or errors, don't despair. These coins still hold value as part of a historical collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, the 1978 Washington Quarter is a piece worth adding to your collection. So, the next time you come across a 1978 Washington Quarter, take a closer look. You might be holding more than just 25 cents. You could be holding a piece of history worth a lot of money. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic adventure. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have a real gem to talk about, the 1981 D. Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. You might be surprised to learn just how valuable this seemingly ordinary coin can be. Now you might wonder, what makes this particular quarter so special? Well, let's uncover the mystery together. 
The 1981 D. Washington quarter dollar was minted at the Denver Mint in Colorado. But what sets it apart is its low mintage numbers compared to other quarters of its time. Take a look at the D. Mint mark just below the wreath on the reverse side. This small letter is the key to unlocking its value. Due to lower production numbers, finding one of these coins in pristine condition can be quite rare. Now, let's talk numbers. While a regular 1981 D. Washington quarter might fetch its face value or a little more, a well-preserved specimen with sharp details and minimal wear could command a premium price in the collector's market. Factors such as rarity, demand, and condition all play a crucial role in determining the value of a coin. And when it comes to the 1981 D. Washington quarter, collectors are willing to pay top dollar for that elusive piece to complete their collection. In fact, graded examples of this coin, especially those graded MS-65 or higher by reputable grading agencies, can fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auctions or through private sales. So, if you happen to stumble upon a 1981 D. Washington quarter in your pocket change or tucked away in an old coin collection, make sure to give it a closer look. You might just be holding on to a hidden treasure worth a lot more than its face value $33,000. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of rare coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden gem that is the 1985 D. Washington quarter dollar. You might be surprised to learn just how valuable this seemingly ordinary coin can be. The year was 1985, and the United States Mint was bustling with activity, producing millions of quarters for circulation. Among them was the 1985 D. Washington Quarter, minted in Denver. Now, you might be wondering, what sets this particular coin apart from the rest? Well, my fellow collectors, it's all about the details. The 1985 D. Quarter features a stunning portrait of America's first president, George Washington on the obverse side. But it's on the reverse side where the magic happens. Take a look at the reverse side, and you'll notice something peculiar the absence of a mint mark. Unlike most quarters minted in Denver, which bear the D mint mark, the 1985 D quarter was mistakenly produced without it. And that, my friends, is where the rarity factor kicks I and dot so, how much is this elusive coin worth, you ask? Brace yourselves, because you're in for a surprise. While a typical 1985 D quarter may only fetch a few cents in circulation, a pristine, uncirculated specimen of the 1985 D quarter without the mint mark can command prices that will make your jaw drop. I, in fact, some of these rare coins have been known to sell for 20 thousands of dollars in the collector's market. And the demand continues to soar as collectors scramble to add this treasure to their prized collections. But don't just take my word for it. I'm joined by Pawn Star Season Numismatist who can shed more light on the value of the 1985 D. Washington quarter. Absolutely, Anon. The 1985 D. quarter without the mint mark is a true rarity in the world of coin collecting. Its scarcity, coupled with its historical significance, makes it highly sought after by collectors of all levels. There you have it, folks. The 1985 D. Washington quarter a small piece of history that packs a big punch in terms of value. So, next time you come across a handful of quarters, take a closer look. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a hidden treasure worth a fortune. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics, focusing on a coin that might just hold more value than you think, the 1987 D. Washington quarter dollar. Now you might be wondering, what's so special about this particular quarter? Well, let's uncover the story behind it and explore its potential worth. First off, let's set the scene. The year 1987 marked significant events globally, from the stock market crash in October to the signing of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty between the United States and the Soviet Union. Amidst all this, the U.S. Mint was busy striking coins, including the Washington Quarter Dollar. Now, what makes the 1987 D. Washington Quarter Dollar special is not just its historical context, but also its rarity and potential value. This quarter, minted in Denver, Colorado, features George Washington on the obverse, just like any other Washington quarter. However, it's the small D mint mark on the reverse, indicating it was struck at the Denver Mint, that sets it apart. You see, coins minted in Denver typically have lower mintages compared to those from other mints. And when it comes to collecting coins, lower mintages often translate to higher values. So, how much could a 1987 D Washington quarter dollar potentially be worth? Well, it depends on several factors including its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. 
In circulated condition, you might find these quarters fetching a ten thousands of dollars. However, if you happen to stumble upon one in pristine, uncirculated condition, its value could soar into the ten thousands of dollars. Of course, finding one in such mint condition is like finding a hidden treasure. But hey, isn't that what makes coin collecting so exciting? So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep your eyes peeled for the 1987 D. Washington quarter dollar. You never know, you might just uncover a valuable piece of history hiding in your pocket change. That's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed learning about the 1987 D. Washington quarter dollar, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Welcome back to our channel, where we delve deep into the world of numismatics. Today, we've got something truly exciting to talk about, the 1987 P. Washington quarter dollar coin. You might be surprised to learn just how much this seemingly ordinary coin can be worth. The 1987 P. Washington quarter is a fascinating piece of American coinage history. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint in 1987, this coin carries with it a blend of history, rarity, and intrigue. Let's dive into why it's so sought after by collectors. At first glance, this quarter might not seem like anything special. However, what sets it apart is its low mintage numbers. In 1987, the Philadelphia Mint produced just over 813 million quarters, but a small fraction of those were the p -min marked quarters. These are the ones you want to keep an eye out for. If you happen to stumble upon a 1987 P. Washington quarter in your collection or while coin hunting, take a closer look. The condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins in pristine condition, graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC, can fetch quite a handsome sum. So, how much is a 1987 P. Washington quarter worth? Well, it depends. On average, circulated coins might range from a few dollars to around ten dollars. However, if you're lucky enough to find one in uncirculated condition or with special characteristics like errors or varieties, the value can skyrocket. In fact, some of these coins have been known to sell for thousands of dollars at auctions. It's all about rarity, demand, and condition. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who's curious about the value of their spare change, keep an eye out for the 1987 P. Washington quarter. You never know, you might just have a hidden treasure in your pocket. Thanks for joining us today on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're delving into the intriguing world of numismatics, and we've got a real gem to explore, the 1988 D. Washington quarter dollar. You might be wondering, what makes this seemingly ordinary quarter from 1988 so special? Well, buckle up because we're about to uncover its hidden value and why it's worth a lot more than you might think. First things first, let's talk rarity. The 1988 D. Washington quarter was minted in Denver, Colorado, and while millions were produced, its scarcity has increased over the years due to circulation, wear and tear, and coin collectors hoarding them away. Take a look at its intricate design, George Washington's profile on the obverse and the iconic American eagle on the reverse. But what sets this particular coin apart are the subtle variations in its minting process, making some specimens more valuable than others. Now, let's dive into the numbers. The value of a 1988 D. Washington quarter can vary widely depending on its condition, rarity, and demand in the collector's market. For instance, a coin in pristine condition with minimal wear and sharp details could fetch a premium price, especially if it possesses certain desirable characteristics like full luster and no visible scratches or blemishes. But what about the big question? Is this coin worth a lot of money? The answer might surprise you. While most 1988 D quarters may not command astronomical sums, certain rare varieties or era coins have been known to sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auctions and among collectors. So, how do you determine if your 1988 D Washington quarter is a hidden treasure? Well, it's all about doing your research, consulting with experts, and keeping an eye out for those unique qualities that set it apart from the rest. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the 1988 D. Washington quarter dollar, and why it's worth more than just $22,000. Remember, the next time you come across one of these coins, take a closer look. You might just uncover a valuable piece of history right in your pocket. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy coin hunting. Today, 
we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden gems that may be sitting in your coin collection. And what better place to start than with the 1989 D. Washington quarter dollar coin? Now, you might be thinking, what's so special about a quarter from 1989? Well, let me tell you, my friends, this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth much more than its face value. First things first, let's talk rarity. The 1989 D. Washington quarter is not particularly rare in terms of mintage numbers, with millions produced that year. However, what makes this coin stand out are the potential errors and variations that could significantly increase its value. Point one such variation to keep an eye out for is the no FG variety. This occurs when the designer's initials FG for Frank Gasparo are missing from the coin. If you happen to stumble upon one of these, you've hit the jackpot. Take a look at this beauty. Without the designer's initials, this coin becomes a rare find, fetching a premium among collectors. Now, let's talk value. While the average 1989 D. Washington quarter may only be worth its face value in circulated condition, pristine specimens and those with unique errors can command much higher prices in the collector's market. Depending on factors such as condition, rarity, and demand, a 1989 D. Washington quarter could range anywhere from a 13 thousands of dollars, so... If you happen to come across a roll of quarters from 1989, don't just spend them without a second glance. Take the time to inspect each coin carefully, as you never know what treasures might be hiding in plain sight. And there you have it, folks. The 1989 D. Washington quarter dollar coin, a small piece of history that could be worth a fortune. Until next time, happy hunting, and may your coin collections be filled with valuable surprises. Remember, the next time you receive change, it could be more than just coins. It could be the key to unlocking a hidden treasure trove. Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover a hidden gem that might be sitting right in your pocket change, the 1990D Washington quarter dollar coin. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could hold significant value. So, let's delve into its history and explore its worth together. Before we delve into the value of this quarter, let's take a brief journey back to the early 1990s. The 1990D Washington Quarter, minted in Denver, Colorado, bears the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse, as with most U.S. quarters. But what sets this coin apart is the story behind its rarity. You see, during the production of these quarters, an error occurred in the minting process. Some of these coins were struck with a double die error, resulting in a distinct doubling of certain features on the coin. This anomaly might seem like a minor detail, but for collectors, it's a jackpot. Take a look at this magnified image. You can clearly see the doubling effect on the letters and numbers, particularly evident in In God We Trust and the date 1990. This error occurred during the minting process, and only a limited number of coins were affected, making them extremely rare and highly sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. The value of a 1990 D. Washington quarter with the double die error can vary greatly depending on its condition and rarity. While circulated coins might fetch anywhere from $50,000 to $70,000, coins in pristine condition can command prices upwards of $1 million or more at auction. Collectors often send their coins to professional grading services to assess their condition and authenticity. Coins graded by reputable organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, can fetch even higher prices especially if they receive a high grade dot don't just take my word for it. Let's look at some recent auction results. In 2023, a 1990 D. Washington quarter with the double die error in mint state condition sold for a staggering $3,500. These results speak volumes about the desirability and value of this coin among collectors. So, the next time you're rummaging through your loose change or inherited coin collections, keep an eye out for that elusive 1990 D. Washington quarter with the double die error. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a valuable piece of history hiding in plain sight. That's all for today, folks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the value and worth of the 1991 D. Washington quarter dollar coin. Now, you might be thinking, What's so special about a quarter from 1991? Well, let me tell you, this particular coin holds some surprises that could make it worth more than its face value. First off, take a look at the front of the coin, featuring the iconic bust of George Washington. 
the D mint mark signifies that this coin was minted in Denver. But what makes this coin truly special are the potential errors or variations that can significantly increase its value. For instance, there have been instances where the minting process led to errors such as double strikes, off-center strikes, or even missing mint marks. These errors are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch a premium price in the market. Another factor that can affect the value of your 1991 D. Washington quarter is its condition. Coins in pristine condition, with minimal wear and tear, command higher prices in the market. Getting your coin professionally graded by reputable grading agencies like PCGS or NGC can provide you with an accurate assessment of its condition and potentially increase its value. Now, you might be wondering, how much could a 1991 D. Washington quarter potentially be worth? Well, it depends on a variety of factors, including its rarity, condition, and any unique features or errors it may possess. According to recent coin value guides and auction records, a 1991 D. Washington quarter in average circulated condition could be worth anywhere from a few dollars to around $10. However, if you happen to stumble upon one of those elusive error coins or a specimen in pristine condition, you could be looking at a significantly higher value. So, next time you come across a pile of loose change, be sure to give those quarters a second look. Who knows, you might just have a hidden treasure in your hands. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to uncover the hidden treasures within the 1993 P. Washington quarter dollar. If you're a collector or just someone curious about coins, you're in for a treat. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about the 1993 P. Washington quarter? Well, buckle up because this seemingly ordinary coin might just be worth more than you think. Let's start with some basics. The P mint mark indicates that this quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, one of the oldest mints in the United States. But what sets this particular coin apart from others of its kind? Take a closer look at the condition of the coin. Is it pristine? Any signs of wear and tear? Remember, the better the condition, the higher its potential value. Next, examine the design. The Washington Quarter series is iconic featuring the profile of George Washington on the obverse and various designs representing the states on the reverse. But some variations within the series are rarer than others, making them more valuable to collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. While the 1993 P. Washington quarter may not be as scarce as some other years, its value can still be substantial, especially if it's in excellent condition or possesses unique characteristics. According to recent market trends, a 1993 P. Washington quarter in pristine condition could fetch anywhere from $1,000 at auction. And if you happen to stumble upon one with an error or variety, well, you might have hit the jackpot. For instance, certain quarters from this year exhibit double die errors or other anomalies that make them highly sought after by collectors. So, always keep an eye out for those hidden gems. In conclusion, while the 1993 P. Washington quarter may not seem like much at first glance, its value goes far beyond its face value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, remember to do your research, inspect your coins carefully, and who knows? You might just uncover a rare treasure right in your pocket. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics, as we uncover the secrets behind the 1994 P. Washington quarter dollar coin. You might be surprised to learn just how valuable this seemingly ordinary coin can be. So, what makes the 1994 P. Washington quarter dollar coin so special? Let's delve into its history and value. In 1994, the United States Mint released the Washington quarter as part of its circulating coin series. Minted in Philadelphia, this quarter features the iconic portrait of the first president of the United States, George Washington, on the obverse side. Now, while millions of these coins were produced, not all of them are created equal. The value of a coin can vary depending on several factors such as its condition, rarity, and historical significance. Coin collectors use a grading scale to assess the condition of coins, ranging from poor to mint state. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. But what sets the 1994 P. Washington quarter apart from other coins minted in the same year? Well, it turns out that there are some rare varieties of the 1994 P. Washington quarter that can fetch a pretty penny in the collector's market. One such variety is the Spitting Eagle, Error, where a die clash resulted in an image resembling the eagle spitting. These era coins can command significant premiums due to their rarity and novelty. Additionally, coins with full details and sharp strikes are highly sought after by collectors. 
So, if you happen to come across a well-preserved 1994 P. Washington quarter in your pocket change or inherited collection, it's worth taking a closer look. Some of these coins have sold for thousands of dollars in auctions and private sales. So, always keep an eye out for hidden treasures in your coin jar or collection. And there you have it, folks. The 1994 P. Washington quarter dollar coin may seem like just another piece of pocket change, but it holds the potential to be a valuable addition to your collection. Remember to keep an eye out for those rare varieties and pristine specimens. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a hidden gem. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of numismatics to uncover the hidden treasures of the 1995 D. Washington quarter dollar coin. You might be surprised to learn just how much this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth. The 1995 D. Washington quarter might not catch your eye at first glance, but don't let its unassuming appearance fool you. Produced by the Denver Mint in 1995, this coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors and investors alike. Now, let's talk about why this particular quarter is generating so much buzz in the numismatic community. The key to its value lies in its rarity. You see, in 1995, the U.S. Mint made a significant reduction in the number of quarters minted due to a decrease in demand. This decision resulted in fewer 1995 D. Washington quarters entering circulation, making them relatively scarce compared to other quarters of the era. But scarcity alone isn't enough to drive up the value of a coin. There's another factor at play here, minting errors. Some of these quarters were struck with errors during the minting process, such as misaligned dies or double strikes adding an extra layer of rarity and intrigue for collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. While the value of a 1995 D. Washington quarter can vary depending on its condition and any minting errors, it's not uncommon for these coins to fetch prices far above their face value. I in fact, some well-preserved specimens with minting errors have been known to sell for 11 thousands of dollars at auction, so. If you happen to come across a 1995 D. Washington quarter in your pocket change or stashed away in a forgotten coin jar, don't dismiss it as just another quarter. It could very well be a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. Thanks for joining me today as we explored the fascinating world of the 1995 D. Washington quarter dollar coin. Remember, you never know what valuable treasures might be hiding in plain sight. Until next time, happy collecting! Welcome back, coin enthusiasts! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to explore a hidden gem, the 1995 P. Washington quarter dollar coin. What makes this seemingly ordinary coin worth a second glance? Stick around to find out. Now, at first glance, this quarter might not look like much. But appearances can be deceiving, especially in the world of coin collecting. Let's delve into the history and rarity of this particular coin. The 1995 P. Washington quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, denoted by the P. Mint mark on the reverse side of the coin. It was part of the circulating coinage for everyday transactions, yet within its modest appearance lies a story of scarcity and value. You see, in 1995, the U.S. Mint produced fewer quarters than in previous years due to decreased demand for circulating coinage. This resulted in lower mintages for many coins, including the 1995 P. Washington quarter. With a mintage of just over 1.4 billion, the 1995 P. Washington quarter might seem abundant compared to other coins. However, in the realm of coin collecting, its scarcity becomes apparent when compared to other years. But wait, there's more. What truly sets this coin apart is its potential for error varieties and high-grade specimens. In coin collecting, rarity and condition are paramount, and the 1995 P. Washington quarter is no exception. Collectors are always on the lookout for error coins, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or missing midmarks. Additionally, coins in uncirculated or proof condition fetch higher prices in the market due to their pristine state. So, what's the bottom line? How much is the 1995 P. Washington quarter really worth? Well, it depends. A circulated 1995 P. Washington quarter typically trades for its face value, but if you're lucky enough to find one in uncirculated condition or with a rare error, its value could skyrocket. In recent years, Auctions and online marketplaces have seen 1995 P. Washington quarters sell for anywhere from a few dollars to several hundred dollars. Depending on their condition and any unique attributes they possess. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, keep an eye out for the 1995 P. Washington quarter. You never know when you might stumble upon a hidden treasure. Thanks for joining us today. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of numismatics to explore the fascinating story behind the 1997 D. Washington quarter dollar coin. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could hold significant value. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's embark on this numismatic journey. Before we uncover the value of the 1997 D. Washington quarter, let's rewind to the year 1997. Bill Clinton was president, the internet was booming, and in the world of coins, something remarkable was happening. In 1997, the Denver Mint produced millions of Washington quarter dollars. However, among these coins, a select few stood out due to a unique characteristic that would make them highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts alike. So, what sets the 1997 D. Washington quarter apart from the rest? Well, it's all about the D. Mintmark located on the reverse side of the coin, indicating that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. But here's where it gets interesting. While most 1997 D. Washington quarters feature a standard Minmark, a small number of these coins were struck with a rare error. The error? A double die verse, where the design appears to be slightly doubled due to a misalignment during the minting process. This subtle but significant error captured the attention of collectors, turning an ordinary coin into a valuable treasure. Now, you might be wondering, how do I know if my 1997 D. Washington quarter has this error, and what's it worth? Grab your magnifying glass, folks, because identifying this error requires a keen eye for detail. Examine the inscriptions and features on the obverse side of the coin particularly around George Washington's profile. Look for any doubling or distortion in the design. If you spot doubling, congratulations. You may have a valuable error coin in your collection. But remember, authentication by a reputable coin grading service is essential to confirm its rarity and value. AT coin shows and auctions, the 1997 D. Washington quarter with the double die obverse can command a premium price, often fetching hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on its condition and rarity. And here's a pro tip. Coins graded by trusted grading services like PCGS or NGC tend to attract higher prices due to their authentication and preservation in protective holders. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or someone who stumbled upon a jar of old coins in the attic, keep an eye out for the 1997 D. Washington quarter with the double die obverse. You never know, it could be your ticket to uncovering hidden treasure. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting insights. Until next time, happy hunting, and may your pockets be filled with valuable treasures.